One meter. Dragon contact and soft capture complete. And for Commander Peggy Whitson and the teams on the ground, as they were talking about the swapping of the lithium hydroxide cartridges as the hatch has been opened between the Dragon spacecraft and the International Space Station just a few moments ago at 7.14 a.m. Central Time. And this is a view inside the International Space Station looking forward, if you will, as the astronauts and cosmonauts aboard are looking up, that is towards the space-facing port of the Harmony module. That's where they are in now. If you were to keep going forward, if you will, that is the forward port, which currently is occupied by Dragon Endurance from a crew at 10. And a great microgravity demonstration of the camera that Alexei Zubritsky is using to help document and be a part of the welcoming committee for Axiom Mission 4 here in the next few moments. Dragon Houston on the big loop. Just to confirm, we want to make sure IMV duct installation is complete before we do Lyo cartridge sealing. Yes, the IMV duct installation is complete. Uh, my bad, I didn't get it reported. Houston copies. Now we switch views from pretty much the point of view of what the astronauts have been looking at from what we have seen. They were looking up, and this is the shot up into that no to zenith hatchway of the Harmony module. That is Nicole Ayers, NASA astronaut, just on the other side of that APAS hatchway, working with the Axiom Mission 4 crew. You heard them talking about IMV ducting and LIO cartridges. That IMV ducting helps mix the air of the International Space Station environment with the air inside of Dragon and then also looking to seal up some of those lithium hydroxide cartridges that are used to scrub carbon dioxide from the air in the spacecraft on their journey to the International Space Station. And that journey started yesterday morning, 1.31 a.m. Central Time, 2.31 a.m. Eastern, as they would launch on the uh, SpaceX Dragon, a newly named Grace spacecraft on a Falcon 9 rocket from launch pad 39A at NASA's Kennedy Space Center and would chase down the International Space Station earlier this morning at 5.31, nearly two hours ago, 5.31 a.m. Central, 6.31 a.m. Eastern, a little bit more of a day's transit. Eastern and then, uh, SpaceX Dragon arrival, arrival configuration is complete. Houston copies. SpaceX copies. Continuing to target a welcome ceremony or welcome remarks in the near future at 8.35 a.m. Central Time, so a little bit more than an hour from now is Axiom Mission 4 and the International Space Station continuing to work through hatch opening procedures, but getting close, you can start to see a little bit of a window of opportunity that was just on the other side of Ashon Ann McLean and Nicole Ayers there as they are working on IMV ducting, mixing the air of the station and Dragon, and 
lithium hydroxide at cartridges, stowage and swapping out. So Anne McLean and Nicole Ayers are starting to clear out the hatchway, and we are going to see the first views of Axiom Mission 4. Commander Peggy Whitson, the first one across the A-Pass hatch, receiving great big hugs from Nicole Ayers and the Expedition 73 crew. Axiom at Mission 4, welcome aboard the International Space Station. Pilot Shibanshu Shukla is the next one to come across, representing ISRO. It is his first space flight for Peggy Whitson, her return to the International Space Station on her fifth flight, second as a member of Axiom Space. Sławo Szuznanski Wisniewski of ESA, representing the nation of Poland, and their first visit to the International Space Station is next to cross the hatchway, and warm hugs all around, <laughs> and applause breaking out here inside of Mission Control Houston and International Space Station Flight Control Room, and Tibor Kapu, the fourth and final member of Axiom Mission 4, representing Hunor and the nation of Hungary, their first visit to the International Space Station as well. Great big hugs and handshakes across all members of Expedition 73. And Axiom at Mission 4 is Anne McLean and Nicole Ayers of NASA, along with Johnny Kim, Kirill Peskov, Sergei Rizhikov, and Alexei Jabritsky of Roscosmos, and Takuya Onishi, commander of Expedition 73 and of JAXA. With handshakes and hugs for Peggy Whitson, Shubanshu Shukla, Suavo Shuznanski, Vishnevsky, and a Tibor Kapu. And with their arrival to the International Space Station, that now makes 288 visitors to the orbiting laboratory. Axiom Mission 4 is now aboard the International Space Station. Commander Peggy Whitson in her return to the orbiting laboratory, her fifth flight. Three is a member of NASA and her second as commander of Axiom and Axiom Space Private Astronaut Mission, commander of Axiom 2 and here of Axiom 4. Regaling the crew with smiles and stories. To her left, or our left from her viewpoint to her right, Swavo Shuznanski Vishnievsky of ESA, Shubanshu Shukla to her left of ISRO, and Timur Kapu on that far right hand side of our viewpoint. The crew is safely aboard the International Space Station. Welcome again to Axiom Mission 4. And we are continuing to target 
a formal welcome remark from the crew and being joined by the Expedition 73 team as well. That'll be at approximately...